Well, students from a local school are getting an Irish spirit trying to catch a leprechaun. Julissa Ortiz is live with a look at all the traps that he created. Ooh! I am telling you, you guys, these are so amazing. We are at Genevieve Didion here, the elementary school, and I've got some pretty, pretty smart third graders here who have built some leprechaun traps. And let me tell you, my kiddos and I, we built ours last night. Definitely not up to this level, okay? Let me just tell you, this is something they've been doing for so long, like 20 years, where they have all the all the third grade class always build a leprechaun trap, and then they put it out on display. But obviously, we had to pivot a little bit, but the teachers got creative, and they have put them outside on the front lawn here of the school so that you all can come by still and check them out. So take a look. Do you see all of these? How cool and creative. This is from Mrs. McGoy's class. And I've got Reese with me, one of the engineers of one of these leprechaun traps. Good morning to you. Good morning. Okay, show us which one is yours. This one with all the glitter shamrocks. I love it. I love Thank it. You. Okay, so you'll notice, you guys, these are like, these are not your average leprechaun traps, okay? These also, they're studying simple machines, right? So you had to include an example, two of them, right? So which, what did you do? So I used the lever system and an inclined plane for the ladder. Okay, y'all get that? Y'all get that? Okay, can you give us a little demo, okay, to see how it works? So hopefully he'll climb up the ladder, uh -huh. follow, follow the path, climb up this ladder, and then look at the gold and then trip. And, and, get caught. <laughs> and then boom, she's going to catch that leprechaun. Well, I hope that you do catch him. That is so impressive, Missy. How long did it take you to make this? Uh, uh, two weeks. Two weeks. And you had some help, right? Some professional help. My neighbor is a retired engineer. See? Smarty pants right there. She called in the professionals. Well, Miss Reese, thank you so much. All right, let's go right over here. This is Miss Searley, Mr. Searley's class. And we've got, look at this. Oh, how cute. Look at leprechaun lair over there. Okay, let me get Elliot. I'm quite concerned about Elliot because he's wearing flip-flops and I asked him if his feet was frozen, but he said no. Okay, show me. This one's yours right here. Yes. All right, first tell me which machines did you use? I used I use a lever, a, um, a pulley, and a wheel. Oh, okay. All right, so tell me, how would, there's your little your mini, mini leprechaun. Show me how it works. So the leprechaun um, goes um, right here and um, it says move me, so he moves the paper clip. Okay. And after he moves the paper clip, the rock should fall. Oh, oh shoot. Um, but, uh, but, and he flies oh. into the... Boom! And he's going to fly onto the other side of the books. That's amazing! How long did it take you to do that? It took me about, it took me about, like, two weeks, maybe. Oh, my gosh. And did you, like, draw it out, plan it out? Um, um, yes. Yep. Good for you, my friend. Okay, last but not least, we've got Matthew over here. Oh, I see all the sparkle, Matthew. I love this. Tell me about yours. Which machines did you use? A inclined plane and a lever. Okay, show me how it works. Okay. First this the is your mini leprechaun? Yeah. First the lever the um, leprechaun walks up the ladder, uh -huh. he sees the gold, he runs to it, but he fall he falls in a trap door. Oh, oh. and then you got him. Mm -hmm. Look at that. Three leprechauns could be trapped with just these three traps. Very guys. smart. Wow. Are these not impressive? Yeah. <laughs> Oh my gosh, I love this. So cool, you guys. Look at, some of them include Lego pieces right here. So, so creative, all so different. And guess what? Educational too. Yeah, they had to use what they learned in class to make these projects. I love it. It is Genevieve Didion here in Sacramento. You can come by. Um, Cody, we're going to blame the rain on you because oh, you're holding the yeah. remote. Mm -hmm. So you got to come today before the rain gets here tomorrow. Yeah. Hey, high fives, air high fives to my three engineers. Thank you so much. I'm telling you, I think that they're going to catch that leprechaun here. I think so. At Genevieve Didion. I'll what? send it back over to you. Holy, so we might need to hire them to build a trap for our studio because we got leprechauns on the loose in here, too. All you know, I think that they might be for hire. I you think know they might be for hire. We we'll call them people. Yeah. Consult. Yeah. They might consult. Yeah. And but they do Mogwai charge a fee. Could yeah. have been wet. Mogwai. But they do charge. <laughs> they do charge. We got to remember that for the Mogwai. All right. Thanks, <laughs> who? Thanks, leprechaun catchers.